Hey, it's Chad, and I wanted to share with you some results I'm getting with um, some email um, prospecting. Um, I haven't scripted this out, so bear with me. Uh, what I, I was wanted to show is um, what I've been doing is I've been reaching out to realtors, and I just started this yesterday. I only sent out 50 emails or so, maybe 51, 52, something like that. Um, and the way I did is I went to realtor.com and I did a search for you know some upper end houses and a lot of them were in the millions and I then I narrowed my search to maybe uh, I forget what the I think the low or I, I said something like three to five hundred thousand and then I started emailing those people and so I'm on realtor.com now I did a search and I just you know just going down the list and then I've got my little um, mail marklets um, bookmark up here for realtors so I click that and you see this is red because I've already emailed this guy Zane but I can just show you what it looks like so when I click this as you may know uh, this bookmarklet grabs the um, grabs the uh, email they're hidden inside of the code on realtor.com but they're there so I uh, emailed him it automatically built this vid this uh, email based on a template and uh, I reference you know I call him by name I reference his property it says I was looking at the listing for 1015 Timber Valley Road and noticed you have 35 nice images that's um, something I, I've added to the plugin I haven't sent out that update yet I've been testing it but um, what it does is it, it grabs the number of images that are on that realtor.com page and you can merge that into your email uh, hopefully I have that update out later today but it says I'd like to do a free video for you I can work with only a few realtors in the Colorado Springs area again that this is merged in and so please let me know ASAP if you're interested before I get booked up I'd love to chat with you uh, chat you with you briefly okay so that's a typo uh, is then that's their number from the realtor.com page the best number for you you can reach me anytime at I can fill you and I can fill you in the details thanks Chad Wyatt PS I ran a test for a friend of mine that generated some first place Google rankings for the property again I think the property at the address might be a good fit for you so my strategy is I'm not real hardcore in sales so I like to approach people uh, in a way that I feel like hey you're dumb if you don't work with me and so uh, now this this thing doesn't give a whole lot of detail. I'm just saying I want to do a free video, and it alludes to some Google rankings there. And I, what I want to share is I kind of potentially stumbled into a nice follow-up process that seems to work um, because I've gotten <clears throat> I got a phone call this morning from one of the people I emailed. So let me show you the rest of the process. So I sent off this I sent off this email. And then if I go back into my Gmail account, you'll see I get notified anytime someone opens the email. And if I'm using Yesware, so it's yesware.com, Y-E-S-W-A-R-E. -E. <clears throat> I'm paying for the $5 a month deal. But um, then you can go there and get more details. So if I go to look at this tracking, um, I can look at just the opens. And so what I did is after I sent out that batch of 50 emails, I went into Yesware and I am looking for everybody that opened my email, my initial email. So you can see these are the regarding. So um, these are my replies. So what I did is I got the initial opens. I noted their email address. I went into Gmail, found them in my sent email. So I just did a search and sent email for their email address. Pulled up their, let me just do this for one here. <coughs> let me see here let me use Mary here Mary Lynch as an example I want to pause the video for a sec okay so I know that Mary had opened my initial email but she hadn't replied yet although I did get I did get uh, three or four people that replied and said they're interested and I have a meeting set up for tomorrow a couple for next week so um, uh, with Mary though the way I got in touch with her is let me show you the the email chain here so there's my first email that was you know pretty much the same email everyone else got I saw that she had opened but she didn't you know reply or anything so then what I did is I created a video overview and I'll, I'll see if I can provide I'll provide this 
uh, I'll set up a web page where I can show all this to you guys. But um, uh, so then I followed up. I said, "Hi, Mary. I just want to send more info on what I'm doing in case you're someone you know is interested." Um, and then I linked to a YouTube video that I go into detail. I show uh, one of you know the test I ran with a another realtor. Showed the views I got. I showed some the the rankings I was getting on um, Google top you know like play uh, first uh, you know the first position on Google on some of these searches so and the re the views I was getting on our channel and so that's what that video was so this was like a reason to follow up so oh, by the way here's more info um, this is the email that actually got her attention because what she did is she called me uh, I actually missed the call but I called her back she left a voicemail I called her back had a little discussion with her she said uh, yeah I was curious about your video stuff I saw your second email I watched your YouTube video about what you're doing and uh, something I'd like to ask you know get more info about and so we had a quick little she just asked a couple questions I told her what I was doing and um, so if you're doing video ranking this can be a great uh, lead you know way to reach people <clears throat> um, she she made a couple comments. She goes, I get you know at least twenty emails a day from people selling you know SEO or website services or all kinds of things that want to work with me. And she goes, but I yours stood out. Uh, it seemed more personal. The first one she did say seemed a little more like it was a canned message, and I'm not sure why. But uh, she had to feel that maybe it's just because well she actually said it was she gets so many emails. Uh, every day about services people want to offer that this kind of just was like oh it's just someone else contacting me about a service you know uh, however when I followed up it, she just said the follow-up this this email was the key that pushed her over the edge to really pay attention to what I was doing and she watched my video all right so um, so I had the phone call and then I sent her the direct link to the channel with all the videos from the other realtor I was working with all right, so um, so yeah, so she sent me images uh, to a Picasso web album that she wants me to use to build a video, and so now one of the next things I'm going to do is create a quick, easy way to import Picasso albums into my video system, and um, uh, and so you're just kind of walking with me through the process of working with clients, and I'm just sharing my experiences, what is working, what's not working. But so far, uh, you know, I sent, like I said, 50 emails, and I probably got a good five or so, uh, like people that want to work with me. Now, again, I'm giving something away, but it's really easy because I'm using my video schedule platform. Uh, they don't really know that. I didn't tell them. I haven't shown them my platform. I just shown them the results. So, um, so uh, the idea is get in with. Uh, uh, getting some connect connections with them. And then Mary, you know, she immediately she asked one of her questions, well, "What's this going to cost?" You know, later on, or what do you plan on charging? I should say, and um, and so we discussed that. And I said, "Well, I haven't really set prices yet, you know, but um, you know." Uh, so I threw out some numbers, and she seemed to be fine with it. Um, so uh, yeah, that's just been my experience uh, since last night, since sending out a few emails, and hopefully, you guys. Uh, can may possibly learn. I think one of the tricks here again was the combination of sending a uh, maybe a more of a generic email uh, using my um, my mail marklet up here, bookmarklet, and going through Realtor.com, and then uh, tracking with Yesware, who or whatever you want to use. But Yesware is nicely; it's built right into Gmail. Um, and I can, uh, you know, track who who's answering or who's at least looking at the emails, and then I know that if I send a follow up, it's probably going to be seen. So, so it's kind of the one step, you know, two step process there, and that seemed to have been working pretty well as well. Okay, great. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions.